Hi, I'm Krishana Martinson, University of Minnesota Equine Extension Specialist and member of the eExtension Horse Community of Practice. One of the most common questions we get is on poisonous plants and horses. So two poisonous plants that are really common throughout the U.S. are actually oak and maple. But contrary to popular belief, oaks and maple standing out in a pasture are rarely toxic. With oaks, the green acorns and immature buds can be toxic to horses. So how do green acorns and immature buds get into horse pastures? Usually in the summer or early spring, if a severe storm comes through and knocks down branches, the green acorns and buds can be on the ground, which horses can then ingest. Similar to oaks, maples are also only toxic when the leaves are wilted. So in the fall or after a tree has fallen, for example from a storm, and the leaves are wilted and the horse ingests them, then those components can be toxic. So oaks and maples standing in a horse pasture should not be cut down. However, care should be taken when green acorns from an oak tree, immature buds from an oak tree, or wilted maple leaves can be ingested with, by the horse. That is when care should be taken to remove those components. For more information on pasture management and poisonous plants, visit www.extension.org forward slash horses.